everyone. Uh, today uh, I'm doing a testing on the iPhone 11 and also the Samsung Galaxy A72. So on the iPhone is on my left and the Samsung Galaxy A72 is on my right. Both of them are shooting using the 180p 60 frame per second this time. Uh, both also didn't turn on the uh, how call that handshake or anti uh, stabilization mode. Is so uh, let's just walk a little bit to show how good is the video stabilization in the surrounding area and also the video quality. Uh, trying to walk uh, on an uneven path to show. Uh, whether it's able to capture the stabilization and also try uh, panning around to show the clarity, the shadow and the quality able to capture different lightning conditions obviously from the screen right now what I can see is that uh, a Galaxy Samsung Galaxy S72 is a little bit uh, washed out a little bit like white and bright uh, white and bright and the iPhone 11 able to capture uh, the saturations better means like a uh, green is slightly more greener a uh, little bit brighter on the screen okay I'm talking right now is uh, based on what I see on the uh, phone screen not during post processing so the uh, Sun is just almost up and the cloud the sky and now i'm going to pan to the left to show you the uh, backlighting conditions so once again this is uh, shooting on the 180p uh, 60 frames per second uh, looks like it both camera looks like it yeah both cameras are able to do a good job uh, but uh, iPhone 11 of course uh, win by uh, mar some margin because as you can see in this video uh, from far scratch, uh, far stretch, the iPhone 11 able to capture the housing area clear, more clearer than the uh, Samsung Galaxy A72. Uh, it's a little bit darker, not able to capture more light and slowly i will turn and pan okay so you can see the uh, autofocus is better on iphone 11 it straight away uh, changed to more brighter color to capture the basketball court uh, whereby samsung galaxy s22 still maintained uh, it is i'm not saying it's dark but it's just not so bright okay now later i'm going to switch it to a front facing camera to show the video quality uh, now i'm testing the front facing camera on the iphone 11 and the samsung galaxy s22 wow obviously you can see i'm doing a backlighting here uh, of course uh, without turning on the htr mode this is what you see uh, when i do backlighting samsung galaxy s22 is super dark you will hardly can see my face on the screen whereby uh, some uh, iPhone 11 you can see clear my screen but just that the background is a bit uh, overexposed but it managed to focus on the face all right so maybe I tap on the Samsung Galaxy S22 yeah this is how it looks like uh, when it's uh, I mean uh, then you change back <laughs> well this is how uh, how we call it unstable the uh, focusing is on the android or maybe this samsung galaxy phone whereby uh, iphone 11 able to constantly focusing on my screen because it's a portrait mode right uh, focusing on my on my face and and clarity wise you can see samsung galaxy s72 can able to capture the details on my face, my eyebrow, my hair, okay? Whereby iPhone 11 is not so clear yet, a uh, little bit uh, PP over there, but uh, depends on you, which, which color, which mode 
that you will like okay uh, the sky is a bit more blue in the iPhone 11 whereby Samsung Galaxy 11 uh, so Samsung Galaxy S22 is a little bit uh, dark here as usual okay maybe you can do a post processing to enhance the quality on Samsung Galaxy S22 but uh, well nowadays uh, people use smartphone hardly do any post processing except using on the social media such as TikTok and all these things but uh, I just want to try to capture as it is and see how it good how it looks like okay now I'm doing another pen okay once I do backlighting then it just straight away darken my face I need to like tap the focus here then you can see that right then you change back again <sighs> I think I need to like uh, put a fixed focus on my face AE lock and see how it goes okay so I don't need any introduction on this both phones uh, on the hardware perspective you can easily search around on the internet but once again uh, testing is to show more real life conditions uh, testing it out uh, and by the way iPhone 11 is running on the iOS 15 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S22 is still uh, running on the Android 11 okay if I'm not mistaken I forget already <laughs> let me just check back later okay this is uh, walking mode so far stabilization wise I don't think there's much difference there because both uh, front frame camera is, does not come with optical stabilization and I didn't turn it on uh, the anti shake mode okay it's a good day sunny day uh, now let's see uh, my face facing the sun and later when we do processing post processing then you will be able to see which camera able to give you a depth of field clarity focus and all this extra uh, once again uh, I always mentioned Picture quality, video quality is always depend on the personal preference. Some people like to have like a bokeh effect. Some people like to have a over processing, con high contrast color. It depends, right? So therefore, you can choose uh, which phone that suit you most. To me, I didn't use uh, iPhone for a long time, so I'm just just test it out again. Uh, this iPhone 11 versus relatively new A72 and see how the technology match uh, compare and able to match with each other okay that's all that is the front camera testing and later the session I will show you more some sample picture that's all see you have a nice day bye Hi everyone, uh, welcome back in this session. So this is a conclusion part of the iPhone 11. Okay. Now, uh, in the front part, to, I mean, I just skip to uh, straight away skip the hardware outlook introduction because this is an iPhone. Everyone know how it looks like. How this is like the overexposing on the internet. So there's no need more introduction on it. But I just straight away jump into the video testing, then uh, back camera, front camera, and some photo sample for you to see. Well, I just want to make more, uh, uh, how about that, a remark on the video testing. Obviously, very obvious is that when I was holding the iPhone and the, I mean, I only have the Samsung Galaxy S72 with me. I mean, I purposely didn't turn it on. I mean, if I turn on the Samsung Galaxy S72 uh, anti handshake mode, it will change to the 
wide angle lens and then to crop it off. Uh, well, once again, I would say that the uh, Samsung Galaxy S22 is a, the main camera is with built-in optical image stabilization. And when I do side by side, uh, well, it's like it, it can't match iPhone 11 video stability is totally off. I mean, if you know iPhone, it doesn't really have uh, anti shake mode or something like that. So uh, I, I'm not too sure. Maybe uh, I I didn't expect the uh, uh, the, the ship the uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 so worse off in in the head, uh, how I got the video quality. I, I really didn't expect because when I was holding it, uh, it looks okay to me. So well, uh, iPhone really win uh, on uh, sorry. I would say iPhone 11 really win on the video quality, uh, video stabilizations on that part. No wonder so many people using iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, Pro Max to do um, video recording. And of course, uh, iPhone 12 series is even uh, more expensive and iPhone 13 now is, is even more, more expensive, right? So, uh, that is about the iPhone 11 uh, video quality is amazing and I believe photo quality you also can see that it's much more sharper and uh, once again, it's like a, a little bit OPP uh, over there, but the image quality just looks so nice on that part. So I'm, can I say that I'm so proud of that, that iPhone is uh, able to keep up on that. Uh, finally, they can able to keep on the camera, uh, video qualities and photo qualities from 11 onwards. I'm not too sure about 12 and 13, well, maybe I need to wait for around. Sometimes they're able to buy a used unit uh, that I can afford on. Okay, that is the uh, video quality and photo quality uh, and also some camera sample on that part. So at the end of this session, right, so you asked me that uh, uh, whether this is still a good buy? Uh, yeah, definitely I was definitely I would say yes, it's, a, it's definitely a good buy at this moment. I'm able to get this uh, unit, uh, iPhone 11 64 GB in less than 2,000 ringgit Malaysia. So that if you're around that budget, so you want a good quality of cameras, you want a good gaming performance, this is a good buy. The only comment that I have on this iPhone 11 is that it's just a little bit small for me because I get used to I uh, Android phone with my every phone is almost like 6.5, 6.7 inch Android. So this is like 6.2, if I'm not mistaken, 6.1 or 6.2. It's a little bit small for me on like you know when I play games and stuff like that. And uh, and last but not least is about the uh, Face ID. You know like oh gosh, I hope that I, I, Apple can bring back like finger ID on the power button just like iPad A4 and uh, iPad Mini 6 like that. You know, so with now it's so inconvenient to have uh, you know a face ID you need to take off your mask off and on all the time. Right, that's all about the iPhone 11 uh, so-called review in year 2021. And my name is Jared. If you like the content I'm creating on used phones, some review, my sharing my hobby with you, please remember to Follow, subscribe, and like my video. All right. If you have any comment, please put it down there. Uh, you know, we can discuss. We can, you know, uh, talk to each other. I uh, look forward to see you in my next video. That's all. Bye.